Hey there, Tall Man Clan, welcome back. We're in Puyallup, Washington. Washington, holy mackerel. It's cold today, a little rainy. So we're so sorry if it's a little dark, okay? Uh, especially inside. We're looking at an open range. I mean, we, we had uh, one of our subscribers ask about an open range. So they have several of them. We're gonna look at them all, okay? Um, this is the uh, 284 RLS. So uh, come on, let's go look. Look at this storage. Wow. Is Right? That's huge. It is. That's like a queen size bed huge. It is. Yeah. Yeah, I know where I'm sleeping. Yeah. All right. 20 pound protein panks. Okay, so I don't think you could get a 30 up in there. I don't think you could do that, but it, it does have a tray. Right? It slides out. Oh, there's actually two of them right there. So there's two 20 pound uh, protein tanks here, and there's one on the other side. So you, you still have the equivalent of 60 pounds, but it's in 20 pounders. Okay. If you uh, scroll up there, you can see you got an awning that covers from all the way to the very front to the door. Okay. You also can see frameless windows. I absolutely love that. And I didn't say this with the storage, but you have slam latches, right? Slam latches. Cool. Bam. All right. You got your Lifford solid step. Getting to the back, you got a nice outdoor kitchen. And uh, this is like a, a griddle top, like a flat top there, which is awesome. A little sink out here, a little micro fridge, you know, everything you need for your little thing. And then you got your own little awning back here with the, <laughs> with the door, it's so big. <laughs> so uh, if it's raining outside, you can still make your pancakes on your flat top. So. You might need that today. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not <laughs> fun out here. 39 degrees, we're from Florida, it's cold. All right. <laughs> If you look up, Lisa, you can see it's uh, pre-wired for Furion backup camera. You can also see there's a ladder mounted as well, uh, so you can get up to the roof easily. Um, there is no bumper, but there is a hitch, uh, so if you want to put some accessory uh, racks on the back, you can do that. All right, walking around here. Here's your 50 amp uh, power connection. There's a tube down here, so you can keep your sewer hose there. Um, speaking of sewer hose, I see a pole right there, but I don't see where to connect the sewer hose at. So let's go up here and look. Uh, you have a slight, come on up here, Lisa. You have a slightly upgraded uh, suspension, right? A little buffer in there, which is nice. Um, okay, so let's see, there's the pole, but yeah, so there's, interesting there's a pole there, but no connection, huh? which is fine. Here's your connection. And there's also a pull there as well. So one's your gray tank, one's your black tank, but that's where you connect uh, your sewer at, okay? And oddly enough, your pulls are in here as well. So here's your wet bay, and so this is where you connect your water and stuff. Okay, here is the other side of your storage. I really do like that storage. Yeah, that's nice. Yep, and here's your, uh, your, your third 20 pound protein bank. Okay, and then uh, here's directions on how to use the auto system, the auto level system. The controller, where is the controller for the auto level system? Did, did we see where that was, Lisa? Is it inside here? I don't know. Uh, right here. Okay, there it is back there. So, uh, a little challenging with the control system. It'd be much nicer if that was like right up here. So you could be part uh, of that process with the truck. If not, you're kind of hidden back here, okay? So let's look at the numbers. They're actually back here, Lisa. Okay. So this has a gross vehicle weight of 12,500 pounds. Okay. And it's got a cargo carrying capacity of 1,853 pounds. Okay. So let's go around to the front. So you can see you got your utility closet here. And so uh, this is where you would mount uh, a generator if you want to add a generator. As you can see, it's already wiring and stuff already here for your batteries, actually. And so you can have two batteries, which they have their own compartments. So like I said, the utility area. And if you're not going to put a generator in here, then you can obviously use that for some additional storage. So Now this pin box, look at this thing. Look, an upgraded air ride pin box. This thing's... There's not going to be any chucking going down the road with this thing. It's going to be nice and steady. Oh, and there's one other thing that I wanted to show you guys. See the legs? Those are JT Strong Arms. 
a lot of times, in fact, most times, that is an aftermarket thing. What that does is just give your rig more stability when you're parked, not as much uh, movement um, and wind and stuff. And it's nice to see that it's uh, um, on there from the factory, if you will, or from the dealer. So it's not an aftermarket thing. I like to see that. So uh, let's go inside. Come on. So look at this. This is like reverse. In most fifth wheels, you seem to have the dinette over here. Then you have your theater chairs here, another sofa, and then the TV is there. This one's backwards, right? Meaning the TV is here and the chairs are on this side. It's just unique, right? A little bit different. We don't see that. I like this. Yeah, I, I do too. Yeah, right? I like this. I, I can almost, almost drink from the faucet while I'm sitting. Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your theater chairs. <clears throat> All right, Thomas Payne is exactly what we have in our RV. Um, manual pulls. There's a little lever right here if you want to recline, right? Um, there are some electric features here for like massage and things. These things right here, these are little tabletops. And so, you know, if, if you want to eat while you're in front of the TV instead of the dining room, I get you've got a little, little tray here. Or I suppose, you know, if you want to flip it like that, You've got like a little coaster or, or something like that to put your drink on. Okay? Perfect for the big game. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Right? Which is coming up soon, isn't it? Yes. On this side, you got a full sofa. And I was trying to see if these things open up. Do they open? Oh, they do. They open this way. Look at that. So there's storage down in there. That's okay. space. Yeah. And then there's some cup holders behind. This does uh, uh, fold out to be see a bed. Is it a normal? Yeah, where's the jackknife? Let's see, uh, jackknife. Okay, so um, this folds up to be a bed. And as you can see, got some cool storage above me. And they even have sort of this corner cabinets as well, okay? And then as we were talking, the entertainment center is on this side. So your TV's up top, you've got some storage down here. These are glass front. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. It, it yeah. is, but they're glass front, mm -hmm. okay? And then uh, you got a Furion sound bar beneath that, and uh, your fireplace with some sort of faux rock around it, which is kind of, we saw that one other time, I kind of like that. I like that too. Yeah. <laughs> and then over here is your dining, which, oh, by the way, I'm six foot four, for those who don't know. So use my height as reference as I'm walking around RVs. As you can see, there are no height problems here. You could probably be seven foot four and not have to duck in these slides. Same thing on the other side. Okay, but here's the dining room. Look at these chairs, aren't they unique? It's one chair where it folds out to be two. Right? I, I think that's kind of neat. I like that. Yeah, right? Uh, the only thing you don't have a back, obviously, but uh, you know, it's okay, right? So then if we turn around, we're into the kitchen yeah. and it's kind of a nice sort of corner layout. Yeah, you ran right into it. <laughs> I did right into it. Bam! So we have this nice solid surface island, this big sink, real stainless, nice tall faucet, which I like that handles on that. That's yeah. nice. With a drying rack. Yeah. Um, underneath, oh look, it's got the, you can see the stainless. Yeah, it's kind of like a, like a farmer's, like uh, right? Almost. A farmhouse sink, but yeah. the, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Very yeah. nice. And then we do have... Oh some little drawers on each side, which that's really nice. Yeah. Make use of all of that space. Um, some drawers underneath. I've got. And then some storage. Oh, there. this one oh, here. Is... Yeah, your trash can. With, there's a cutting board on this side. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice bamboo cutting board. Yeah. And then a little bit of storage there. Yeah. Very little. Okay, there's some pipes running through there, too, but there is some storage there. Look at this pantry. I know. That's a nice glass door on it. Yeah. You oh, and, and by the way, we didn't point it out, but I love the, the, the again, the two-tone. We've seen this in a lot of RVs where sort of here, here ends the, the living room and then the kitchen is, is the lighter cabinetry. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. Definitely. All right, shall we give it the test? Let's give it the test. It's, it's thin, but look, there's a support here. Nice. And so it doesn't matter that it's thin. Nice. Thank you, manufacturer. Right? <laughs> I we like that. we appreciate that. Open range, they're listening. Yes, they are. And look at the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Now this one has a freezer on top, and I, I wow. 
I kind of like really is that. big. Uh, yeah, this so, would be easy for you to get to the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. And, and not easy for you. <laughs> and we'll, we'll hide it there in the back. <laughs> I like my ice cream. But by the way, this is um, propane or, um, or electric, right? Let me see. There's a sign here. It says, uh, Norgold Polar Max 8, designed and manufactured for the road RV use. Freedom Unplugged. See? Propane or electric. I like okay. That. And it's Norfolk too. I like yep. that. Yep. We, we look at that for you guys because a lot of the newer refrigerators coming out are actually 12 volt, which means they work on your batteries or power. They do not work on propane. Yes. And so we like to sort of look at that. Yes. And then you got this area here. I love this. Look at all of the space on either side of the stove. I love it. The big, beefy grates. Beefy grates. Yes. The four burner stove. Yeah. Got a huge oven. That, that is, I mean, that is a residential. It is. Yeah. Without a doubt. I mean, yeah, that, it's huge. that's huge. Absolutely. I wonder. Oh, that, oh, it's oh look at that. It's us. Yeah. I'm not sure what you put down. Probably baking pans. Baking pans. Yeah, yeah, baking pans. Because you're not putting a pan down there. Not putting anything big put a griddle. Sure. Oh, yeah. Put a griddle. About yeah. 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 So over here, we do have a little bit of storage. Yeah. Um, and then there's some drawers over here. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Right. Nice. And um, then, you're, then above. Yeah. Well, nice yeah, microwave, which is also convection. Even though you have an oven, you also have a convection microwave. Exactly. So we have plenty of storage yeah. over here, plus the, the space overhead for knickknacks. Yeah, double wide there. And, you know, and a I single like over that. here. That's real tile. It is. Yeah, that's that's not faux. That's real tile. That is very yeah. nice. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. I'm really liking this floor plan. Now, when you <laughs> came in here, there's this little closet right here. And so if you want to hang your jackets, which would be a good thing today since it's cold outside and kind of wet too. All right, what's in here? Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! All right, so if you're jumping around the videos and you missed it, I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference. All right, this is a porcelain foot flush toilet. And as you can see, I've got plenty of leg room in here. This is awesome, right? Shoulder room and everything. I mean, just very, very comfortable, definitely. Okay. Uh, directly across from me is the sink. Now there's not a lot of countertop uh, space here because it's a corner, but as you can see, there's countertop space over here. All right, so what you can't put here, you can put over there, which is fine, okay? Um, there's some storage down beneath here, plenty of storage, which is awesome. And then uh, the, the medicine chest, which is in the corner, I can see uh, from, you know, I can see my whole self. I can see my whole self, okay? And then uh, it's uh, just a, yeah, nice little corner unit, all right? Um, there is the cabinetry over here. So to me, this is where you have to put your towels. I would agree. Right? And also there's a little mirror here. Um, there's this little pull-out tray. I saw this once before. So I'm not exactly sure what that'd be for. Maybe if you're like doing your hair or makeup or something, you can set the stuff out. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the intention is. I'm not sure what that would yeah. be for either, but I'm sure I could find something to do. <laughs> I'm quite sure you could, right? Nice deep drawers, there's there's four of them, so that's great, right? So uh, let's climb in the shower, guys, all right? And as you can see already, I mean, from my head, again, six foot four, there's three fingers between me and the roof right here, okay? So it's, it is a little tight. Three fingers, that's about two and a half, three inches max, two inches, I would say, so six foot six without ducking in the bathroom. Um, I am in the bubble, so I'm very comfortable in the shower at my height. Um, speaking of height, we'll just get that uh, shower head up a little higher. So, um, and the bubble does run the length of the shower, so I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't have to stand in one place so I can move around a little bit. So that's definitely cool. All right, and as I already mentioned, the shower head's in a great place. So you've got some shelving up here for soaps and shampoos down here, on the bottom, in the back, right? There's also a bench. Um, yeah, nice room. Um, the only thing I don't like, I, I, I don't like glass doors and showers. It's just a pet peeve of mine. So uh, I, we did a whole video about uh, shower doors. If you want to watch, it's down there, okay? Um, so let's go in the master. Now you can get in there two ways. Um, you can get in uh, from the bathroom. So you have direct access to the bathroom at night if you want, but there's also access from the hallway. So we'll have Lisa go in from the hallway since she's almost there anyway. And I'll meet her in there from this way. 
Hi, come Hi. on in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so look at this, y'all. All right, we'll start with the bed. So, um, hmm, what do you think? I think it it might be an RV queen. No, I think you it's think an it's RV king. You think it's an RV king? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll look it up and leave it for you down there. It's definitely got to be eighty inches. I agree. Okay. Um, I think it's less than 60 inches wide, though. That would be a residential queen. Yeah. I think it's, that's why yeah. I think it's a residential, I mean, a, an RV yeah. queen. But definitely two people comfortable enough, right? Yeah, I mean, you saw absolutely. Where I was laying, absolutely. Right? I mean, there's, I mean, there's plenty of room for me yeah, over there. Plenty of room for two people. Absolutely. So that's great. Or if you're me, <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> I guess you're on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you turn around, there's actually kind of like a little desk there. Oh, right? Yeah. So if you, you know, I want to edit videos up in here, I could do that, right? A little desk. It's kind of neat. Um, there's a three dresser drawer over here. Oh, got to close that to open it. So that's kind of, a, actually, that's kind of an interesting thing that you can't open the dresser drawer if the closet door is closed. So remember that. Okay. Curious. All right, but there's three drawers here. Okay. Above that is a TV, which is already mounted. And then, as I was mentioning, you know, here are the doors to the closet. And this is what it actually looks like closed. Actually, you know what? I bet these were reversed. No, it would have been worse if it was reversed. This is how they are. Because here's the latch right here to be uh, latched by this. All right. Let me stick my head in there. So, this is prep for washer and dryer. Yes, it is prep for washer and dryer. Um, I, I'll, I'll try to stick you back there to see, but it's just too bloody dark. <laughs> so you just can't see in there. I apologize. So, but um, yeah, but if you want to put a washer and dryer in there, um, you put the dryer on one side, you put the washer on the other. Again, I know it's dark. I apologize. Uh, but there's some nice hanging racks up there. There's also storage above, right? So you can uh, store, you know, shorts and t-shirts and jeans and things up there and then hang all your nicer stuff there. Right? It's nice. A lot of times you don't have the cubbies above the hangers. No, no, I, I very rarely have seen those. So yeah. I, I like the cubbies up there. Yeah, me too. And speaking of cubbies, there's cubbies down there on the bottom too. Yeah. I don't know. Can you see that down there? Uh, and so if you've got your dryer up here, there's cubby, God, there's cubby space down there. Yeah. You can yeah. probably put your shoes down there. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. So, hey, let us know what you think of this 22, uh, 2022 open range. Um, we've not seen very many of them. And so, uh, since they have several of them here, I told you we're going to look at a bunch of them because we've not uh, seen but a couple through our travels. And so uh, let us know what you think. Oh, by the way, if this is the first time you found our videos, you know what to do, right? Thumbs up, right? Subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. It, 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 it helps out the channel a lot by subscribing, and thumbs up. The YouTube algorithm loves it. So thank you very much. We do, really do appreciate it. For the Tall Man uh, Clan, God bless you guys. We really do appreciate you. And until we see you all again, be safe.